What is going on everyone? Jason from YouTube here. Gonna talk about AMC just real quick. I'm trying to make shorter videos. You guys said, hey, sometimes you ramble and ramble and ramble. So hopefully we'll keep it here on track. Very, very short. As always, not financial advice, not a financial advisor, some guy from YouTube. So as you know, I am, uh, AMC is about 25 to 30% of my portfolio, depending on how AMC does that day and how everything else does that day. It can waffle a lot because it is such a high percentage of my portfolio. So I don't want you to think anything I say is to spread FUD or to get you to sell. Um, that is not my goal. I'm not being paid by anybody. This is just me and I make pennies from YouTube which I appreciate. Thank you, Google AdSense. Anyways, um, so why do I think the market sold off so much earlier this week? And I know we've, we've, we've ended with a strong market here Thursday and Friday. AMC bounced, good rebound. Friday did not end the way that we wanted it to, but it did end better than it surely looked like it was gonna happen Tuesday and Wednesday. So I think what happened this week is a culmination of two things. So culmination thing number one. Um, obviously, we know that this is heavily, heavily shorted. That's not changing. Um, but I also want to explain why I think there may be more shares out there to be shorted than we think. Like every day we wake up, we check, we go, oh, wow, how many shares are there available short? Oh, wow, there's so many shares. How did they continue to short so many shares? Like, are all these synthetic shares? Are all these naked shorts? You know, but I think some of them are actually real shares because while is for as many videos and as many posts have been posted out there saying hey turn off your share lending like if you have a margin account some brokerages just don't they're not going to let you turn off share lending and even if you don't have a margin account they say hey you're not you're like we're going to lend your shares we're going to we're going to lend your shares it is what it is don't try and tell us how to run our business and so for every new share that you buy if you're on margin or if your brokerage doesn't allow you that or if you're just too lazy and say hey you know i'm not going to do that or hey i like making you know 10 cents a day from from lending out my shares i'm going to continue to lend out my shares then when you buy five shares on tuesday then don't be surprised wednesday when your brokerage uses those shares and lends them out and so for as much as we're buying we're also still being able to lend these shares out to create negative pressure because we know again when it when a stock gets shorted that is actively pushing the price down and it's putting selling pressure on the stock so i think there is there are more shares out there to borrow and to short than i think most of us actually realize so i think that is a very very big thing and then also i think there are some hedge funds that are that own shares that are doing some very very shady thing with them and so again we know about the dark pools we know about all that but they have no problem putting massive selling pressure on this and again going back to selling pressure the big picture and i know that and i've seen a lot a lot of posts i've seen it i've even commented um, microvision i think there were people who put out shares for 199 and 239 and 399 and you know and i just laughed and i made a screenshot and they were like you know that's not funny because that actually puts selling pressure on the stock and i think there are some people in amc who are you know again maybe they're trying to be funny maybe they're being serious who put out funny numbers you know uh 420 or whatever and say hey watch this i'm selling all my shares at 420 and that goes into the system and it actually does get logged and so what does that mean it logs it as hey people are wanting to sell this stock so that can keep the price down and again it's not any one thing it's just a series of everything that hedge funds do own the stock and so they can actually sell their shares to the market and again those of us who buy it who are on margin our brokerage doesn't let us turn that off or maybe we haven't gone in and actually turned it off ourselves that if we buy you know all of us collectively buy you know a million shares today then that means the next trading day they can at least short a million shares so just it's a very vicious process that we are in so when they win the battle because they short more shares that day than we buy or they sell more shares that day than we buy and the price does start to go down through short ladder attacking and all these things that they do and the price goes down then this is what happens when the price goes down and you're on margin then you're likely to get a maintenance call. So many of us have been buying the absolute most amount of AMC thinking today could be the day, tomorrow could be the day. I don't want to miss it. I want my share count to be as very high as possible as the squeeze starts. So we're putting every free penny 
into it. And so when any little thing happens, the maintenance call triggers very quickly. And when you get a maintenance call message or email or text, however you have it set up, it is very nasty saying, hey, we are going to come into your account and we are going to start liquidating. We are going to start creating the free capital or you can add $5,000, $3,000, and again, normally people are like, I don't have that much money because I've already put all my money into the stock market because I think AMC is going to squeeze yesterday. So I've been putting money in like crazy. And so what happens is people have to decide, well, I don't want to sell my AMC, but I want to sell another stock or I have to sell another stock. And so what happens is that the majority of AMC holders, again, these retail investors, these apes, you know, whatever they want to call us that we pretty much all own about the same stocks. We own Neo, we own Palantir, we own Jivo, we own Nano, we own Microvision, we own GameStop. There's only so many stocks that we retail investors invest in. If we wanted to buy every single little company in the world, the Walmarts, the Targets, blah, 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 we would just buy an index one. But usually we pick our stocks and we pick things that we really believe in. We pick things that we see uh, have the potential to two, three X over the course of the next five years or so. And so when we get that maintenance call, we all sell the same stock. And so what happens then? Well, we sell that stock and then what happens? Our maintenance, we get another maintenance call. We get another margin call because that stock is now down. And so maybe the first guy who said, okay, I only have to put in 500. Hey, I just got paid today. I'll put that $500 in, I'll be fine. But then when I survived the AMC, but then when Palantir drops a dollar or when Tattooed Chef drops a dollar, well, now you just put me back into a maintenance call. And so now I have to sell something. And so I think there's this constant battle when things start to go, it's like a domino and things can go very, very quickly. Or for those people that are not on maintenance and are not getting mar margin calls, maybe they see AMC dip and they go, you know what? I haven't seen AMC in the 40s in a long time. I haven't seen it low this time. Oh, wow, we're, we're going in the 30s. Wow, maybe I should sell my other stocks and buy more AMC. So when they sell those stocks, again, those things get pushed down. Those that are in maintenance calls, maybe they make other decisions. Maybe they go, you know what? Maybe I am a little too heavily invested in AMC. And so it's this nasty domino effect that can really affect the whole market. So I think that's what really what we saw Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, you know, by Thursday, we kind of bounced out of it. Friday, we traded sideways. I know we were a little bit down, but I feel like overall Friday was a win just to be able to hold and not get it pushed down anymore. But again, we've said this dozens of times, hundreds of times, thousands of times that we cannot put a deadline. We cannot put a date on when this is going to squeeze because then the hedge funds will just outlast until then. And so if you're using margin, which, hey, that's me, I'm guilty, I use margin. You gotta be very, very careful that you don't get over leveraged because when that happens, you get a pushback that it can trigger a lot of things that you don't want to trigger. And so you gotta be very careful there. Share lending, that's very important. And then obviously it's just the right mindset to have the mindset of, hey, the shorts have not covered, Retail investors own a majority of the float, you know, 85% is the estimated total. And there's a lot of big money coming into this. There's a lot of big money institution investors that are coming into this. And so again, from my perspective, if we hold, we will all do well. If we hold, we all do well. But if we get into maintenance calls, we get into margin calls, if we get greedy, if we get impatient, the whole thing falls apart. And it falls apart very quickly. And when you look at the trends, the reality is that, yeah, is there a lot of shorting? Of course, every single day. We know that, right? 100%. We know that. Are some of the um, you know, institutions, the hedge funds, are some of them selling? Yeah, of course. Short lot of attacks. It's happening right before our eyes. But are there people selling? I think there are some. And so, um, again, it for me... I've been very tempted to sell. I have been. I got to be honest. When you get that maintenance call, huh. but I just told you my story. What did I do? I scalped some off of this. I scalped some off of that. I added some cash in, and I'm trying to hold my AMC shares. So anyways, that's my thoughts on AMC for this week. 
Hopefully we'll have a good week coming in. A lot of get b- big movies out this weekend, which again, we're not in it for the fundamentals, but the fundamentals always help. It brings attention. Every interview you see on TV, every YouTube video, all every post on Facebook, all that attention is helping because right now the Google Trends, AMC is kind of going down. And so we, we either, the current investors have to start making more money so we can put more money in, or we gotta bring in new investors to get more money into it to force the squeeze soon. But again, it could take a very long time. It's already been six months. It may be another six months. So buckle up, saddle up. It's going to be a bumpy ride. All right, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on all this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. And I'll see you all in my next video.